Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a Raspberry Pi centric gaming setup that is also going to be an amazing emulation machine and even a pretty nice old title runner. But at the same time, we are also going to be reviewing the Dity VO 70 microphone. So let's dive straight into the video. But first of all, I do want to say a big thank you to Dighty Microphones for actually sending me this microphone for review, but I do want to mention that they have no control over anything I say or do in this video. But one of the Dighty Microphone employees had mentioned to me that seeing a Raspberry Pi gaming setup would be cool, so I was like, huh, that would be cool. So I decided to try it out, and that is going to be one of the main things we're doing in this video. Let's start out with the Raspberry Pi setup, and then we'll take a little bit of a closer look at the microphone. So first of all, as you can see on my desk right here, I mean, the desk looks pretty nice with that incredible Argon 1 case holding my Raspberry Pi 4. And I say incredible because it is one of my favorite cases for the Raspberry Pi 4. And on the desk, we also have the beautiful Dighty microphone right here with that sweet RGB lighting strip on there that is configurable. The Raspberry Pi fits super nicely onto the desk without taking up much space, unlike a big gaming PC would. And depending on your, on your case that you're using for your Pi 4, it can also be completely silent, which is great if you're looking to record clean, clear audio. As you can see on my Raspberry Pi screen right now, I am currently running Twister OS for this setup. I chose Twister OS because it is a great operating system for a gaming setup like this because it comes pre-included with incredible tools built into it such as Box86, Wine, and RetroPie. I've also installed OBS Studio separately on top of this operating system through Pi Apps because, I mean, you can't have a gaming setup without OBS, right? Well. I honestly don't know how well the Raspberry Pi would be for streaming, but later on we'll be trying to play some games and record our screen, not streaming, just record our screen while playing the games all from the Raspberry Pi without any external PC. So this is basically the overview of what my setup looks like, feels like, and feel free to let me know what could be improved or changed. So now let's dive straight into the microphone. The Dighty B07U is a USB microphone brought to us from Dighty Microphones. It's a dynamic mic that works perfectly for streamers or podcasters. The mic has this RGB strip on it that can be controlled by using the knobs on the mic as you can see right here. You basically hold down the mic gain knob to turn it on, short press to change colors, and long press the headphone knob to change the brightness. I personally enjoy the RGB and like that it's fairly customizable. One of the reasons that I reached out to Dighty Mics about this microphone was because their website states that it supports the Raspberry Pi 4 straight on their website. This caught my attention and made me want to give this a go on the channel. The, this mic should pretty much support any operating system out of the box. My version here is a black version, but they also have a white version that comes with the podcast kit. In my opinion, that white version looks pretty sweet, better than the black one I have here. And the unboxing experience of this microphone is phenomenal. The box is really well made and you just open it up and everything is really nicely placed as you can see right here. And I just really enjoyed unboxing this like it was just really well done. But this mic comes both with a USB-C to USB-A cable and also a USB-C to USB-C cable. So whether you have a USB-A or USB-C port, you should be able to use the mic without any type of dongle. And I should say that the USB port on the microphone is not micro USB. It is USB-C on the microphone itself, which is also really cool. It also comes with a fairly nice stand with these yellow strips on it. I personally don't love the yellow so much, but that is Dighty Microphone's branding, so it makes sense to include that out of the box. But, of course, you can also use this with a boom arm. And this entire video has been recorded on this microphone so far, so you can let me know how the audio quality sounds in your opinion. But in my opinion, it is pretty good. And here's a direct comparison against the Razer Siren Mini. 
hello hello from the Didi microphone this is the microphone you've been hearing throughout the whole video and here is what the Razer Siren Mini should sound like so you can get an idea of which one sounds better hello 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 from the Razer Siren Mini a much smaller microphone than the Didi microphone but it is also a quality microphone hello 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 so, I mean, you can really decide which one sounds better, but the Didi is definitely a quality mic. It has some cool tools built into it, such as automatic hardware audio limiter to make sure that audio doesn't get too crazy loud during streaming or recording, which is good for crazy streamers. <laughs> Overall though, this mic costs around $169 for just the mic and $199 for the podcast kit that has some useful tools built into it such as a boom arm. I'm happy with it and I would recommend this mic to those of you who are looking for a quality mic that works on all of your devices, even the Raspberry Pi. Now to our gaming session. So as you can see here, I'm going to turn on OBS Studio on my Raspberry Pi right here with the Didi microphone on as my audio input. I'm going to turn on display capture and set the recording quality to 720p 30, not 1080p to 60fps because I don't want to burn my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to try to launch straight into Crazy Taxi inside of RetroPie to see how it goes, and here is a clip of my recording and some gameplay with audio straight from the Raspberry Pi. Alright y'all, are you guys ready to record our gaming session straight from our Raspberry Pi 4? Well, I am. So here is our OBS session, and it is running straight on our Raspberry Pi 4. There is no external PC in the use right now. So as you can see, we are recording and I'm playing back this video as you see. So let's dive straight into running some retro buys. Since I do want to emulate Dreamcast for the session, it's not super hard to run, but it is not super easy either. So we'll see how the Raspberry Pi is going to handle this. And to actually run it, I am going to be using RetroPie, but instead of running it from this desktop icon right here, I'm going to type in emulation station in my terminal and the reasoning behind that is this actually like closes the desktop session and I'm worried that that would actually stop our OBS from, re from recording. But if I launch it from the terminal like this, I will be launched straight into RetroPie without closing my desktop, which means that OBS will still be able to record that session. So that is why we're going to run it like this. So I'm going to hit enter and hopefully we are going to be in RetroPie right now. And here we are, we have Dreamcast right here. So I'm going to act like I am just recording this for a YouTube video or something like that. So I'll be talking in the microphone and let me know how the microphone sounds as down below too, since this is the Didi V07U as well. So here we're going to go into Dreamcast right here, and I'm going to go with Crazy Taxi for now. And this is the ReDream emulator, by the way, if you were interested running straight from our Raspberry Pi. See right here, it says Redream, and we are still recording. As you can see right here, we are recording. So we're gonna be launched straight into Crazy Taxi. Still loading. So I wonder if this is gonna be any more laggy than a normal launch would or normal gameplay, which I assume it will be because, I mean, that's what OBS, OBS is gonna slow down our Raspberry Pi, in my opinion. So I'm going to hit the start button in my controller. I'm going to go into arcade, play by arcade rules. And there is a little bit of lag, but it's been a while since I played this. So I don't know what the normal feel of it is on the Raspberry Pi 4. But I do know how the game, like the gameplay shouldn't be super laggy. I do know that. So here we are entering into the game right here. And let's try it out. So watch this. So I'm going straight and I turn... And the system, there's just this lag in the gameplay. It is pretty laggy, honestly, and it should not be like this normally. Normally, maybe there are a couple of drop frames and stuff like that, but the Raspberry Pi 4 can definitely emulate this game better than it is doing a job right now. And I would say that is due to recording this gameplay with OBS. But is it playable? I mean, it's playable, I guess, in terms of... Am I playing it right now? It is, but would I want to play this game like this? No, I would not. I would not want to be recording my gameplay like this at all, since it is just not enjoyable whatsoever. So that is what the gameplay would be like if we were running this game. Of course, I could go through and test other games, but for this video, I'm going to limit it, limit it to just this game. So let's try to exit Redream now. I'm just going to exit this, and we'll make sure that our OBS did record this properly. So I'll have to exit RetroPie quit. Nope, I hit the wrong button. 
quit emulation station. Yes, I want to quit. Hit it again. Okay, so we are out of emulation station or RetroPie. And now if we go to OBS, we can see we are still recording. And if I open up my file manager right here, here is our file that is being currently recorded. So hopefully how good the gameplay was or how bad it was. Video. Okay, so overall, as you saw, the Dighty microphone works pretty well, and it's cool to see in action in a gaming setup on the Raspberry Pi. If you would be interested in me sometime trying to stream straight from my Raspberry Pi onto my YouTube channel, let me know in the comments below. That could be a little fun experiment to try, streaming directly from a Raspberry Pi. So, any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, a subscribe would be awesome. And, I mean, yeah. Thanks for watching.